Okay, we're going to have another quick video here for you today on how to use your monometer. Just uh, some of the common uses. Um, if you watched the uh, how to change your car battery or the alternator, checking your alternator video, I went over it a little bit there. Not a whole lot, but uh, I'm just going to cover a few of the features, the ones you will most commonly use. I'm not going to go over all of them. So anyway, here's your uh, meter. This is an ideal. And you've got several settings. You've got VDC, which is direct current, meaning you're going to check a battery, something of that nature. VAC is alternator, alternator current. You can check your uh, ohms here, right there on the speaker with the power. And you've also got continuity, and you've got some other settings. So we're just going to cover today continuity, or uh, continuity uh, direct current, and alternating current. So all we're going to go over, that is the most common things you're going to use it for. So the first thing we'll do is we'll check the direct current. We're going to put it on 20 VDC, direct current, since we know we're going to check a battery that's going to have less than uh, 20 volts. The battery we will check will be, uh, we'll check this D battery that uh, I showed you how to check the speaker polarity on. So you've got your battery here, and these batteries, most batteries will say, this one here, you can read that, 1.5 volts, the reading it should be. So, put the positive on the positive. You can either use the wires, but if you're checking a battery that you're just, uh, you know, a double AA, A, triple A, uh, a 9 volt, what have you, you're not going to have wires on there, obviously. This will work the same for all batteries. So, positive and positive, negative and negative. You can see this battery is pulling uh, 1.62 volts. So, that's a good battery. Real good battery. So we know that battery is good. And again, double A's, same way. Uh, triple A's, 9 volts, what have you. Next thing we will move to is continuity. Which again, this setting right here looks like a little speaker. Just point it to that direction. And we will use the uh, coax cable that we put together in one of my other videos. And what continuity does is it checks the integrity of the wire. So if you think you've got a break in the wire, or uh, you know you can do this with any kind of wire, basically, uh, this will tell you if that that battery, if that wire is definitely bad, and you could trace it down if you've got certain sections of the wire to see where the break is. So this positive and negative doesn't ma not matter. Put the negative on the uh, center terminal here, and the positive on the other center center terminal. There you go. You get a solid beep. Put that in the so you know the this wire is is good. There's nothing wrong with that wire. And you can also get the solid beep just by touching them together. So essentially what this does is brings these two together. So you know that uh, you've got a good connection there. And then the last area is gonna be alternating current. And we'll set it on 200. Since we're going to check an outlet, that is, you know, 110, 120. Move over here to the outlet. Focus it down here. Okay, there we go. You simply your positive to your negative. And you can see, let it rise there. This outlet is getting 114 volts. 113.914. So we know that outlet's good. That's really about it. Um, there are other features, you know, you can hold, um, you can hold data in this particular one. Not all of them do this. This one is a $120 to $150, but you can do these same tests with just about any of them. Um, the higher you go in price, the more precise the measurements are. So that's about it. Please feel free to uh, Post any questions, suggestions, uh, video requests, rate and comment, and as always, thanks for watching.